completing harmony of your thoughts, words and deeds. Always aim to purify your thoughts and everything will be well. Respect it all. Today me, Raja Fatima, would like to take this opportunity to talk about peace. And I would also like to wish all of you a happy World International Peace Day. Peace means freedom. Peace means a feeling of comfort. Peace means a freedom from war and terror. Peace is necessary for the existence of this world. A region without peace may lead to the death of many people and because of the death of many people, it may ruin that region. If any area is suffering from war or terror, the people there is affected very badly. Peace is necessary for our life, peace is necessary for our living and peace is necessary for our happiness. By saying this, I would like to conclude this speech. Thank you all. There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile to continue talking about peace and non-violence against the government whose only reply is savage attacks on unarmed and defenseless men. Nelson Mandela I see more peacemakers and less peace. I hear cries of men even after peace talks. I, he I smell gunshots amidst the ceasefire agreements. Everyone talks of peace and desires peace. Every individual, every society, every country, not realizing like everything else, peace too come at a price. Some are even forced to think that peace is too expensive. If it wasn't, why are people not able to afford it? Einstein says, Peace is not merely the absence of war, but the presence of justice, of order, of law. In short, the government. Einstein is right, but how can we achieve this? For that, people should understand peace is not just a means, but the end itself. We need to think of peace as a collective dream. Peace is only possible when both parties want it, when both are ready to forgive to live in harmony, to share their dreams and resources. If not, peace will continue to be a distant dream, a mere word. The very foundation of peace is the willingness to make peace. Peace is also essential for the developments of nation. A nation can only develop with the dreams of its citizens. What we have to do is provide an atmosphere for peace to flourish. Peace is a collective dream, which is only possible when we provide the ne basic necessities Food, water, education, absence of prejudice and hate, and child labor and ignorance. Then the children can dream, billions of beautiful, soulful dreams. This resonates with Nehru's idea, who was of the opinion that without peace, all the other dreams vanishes. Every effort made towards peace is repaid in peace. Simply talking about peace won't do any good. For that, we have to be the connoisseurs of justice, the flag bearers of truth the harbingers of love and ultimately become the change that we wish to see in the world. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good morning to one and all. Today is World International Peace Day. I am here to tell some peace messages for you. 2011 Peace and democracy make your voice pure. 2012 Sustainable peace for a sustainable future. 2013 Focus on peace education. 2014 Right to peace. 2015 Partnerships for Peace, Peace, Dignity for All 2016 The Sustainable Developments Goals, Buildings, Blocks for Peace 2017 Together for Peace, Respect, Safety, Dignity for All 2018 The right to peace The universal declaration for human rights at 70 2019 Climate action for peace
remember the International Day of Peace is Shaping Peace Together. Celebrate this day by spreading compassion, kindness, and hope in the face of pandemic. Stand together with the UN against attempts to use the virus to promote discrimination or hatred. Join us so that we can shape peace together. Thank you. about peace bell. The peace bell was donated by the United Nations Association of Japan in June 1954. Mr. Chiyoji Nagawa, the former counselor of the United Nations Associ Association of Japan and observer during the sixth session of the General Assembly in Paris in 1951, proposed to build a peace bell as a symbol of hope for peace. The peace bell is narrated by a Japanese grandmother related to the story of how a temple bell that was believed by everyone in her small Japanese village was donated to the war effort during World War II. Now I am conveying that I am concluding my words. Thank you all. Dear children, people all over the world observe September 21 is the International Peace Day. Our school is also observed this day taking all precautions against the pandemic. I would like to share some ideas regarding religions and peace. My humble effort is to give you how various religions see the concept of peace. As everybody knows, there are thousands of religions in this world. Some have pros and pros of followers and others have only a few thousands. Among these, Christianity has the maximum number of followers. Then comes Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Zoroastrianism or Parsis, Judaism are also practiced by crowds of people. Here we are going to see the concept of peace in these religions. Christian understanding of world peace must start with the teaching of Jesus Christ. In his sermon on the mount, he says that 11 categories of blessed people. Among these, people who are peacemakers in families, in societies and among nations are most blessed. They are considered the dearest children of God. The saluting word of Islam is Aslam Alaikum. Its meaning is peace upon you. The ideal society according to Quran is Darussalam. Literally, it means the house of peace and Allah invites to the abode of peace and guides whom he places in the right path. Hinduism seeks, the, seeks to look after the welfare of the entire society. Peace and non-violence are the virtues broadly accepted in the ancient text and practice. The word Shanti means 
peace has an important place in hindu religion and it propagate the ideal of vasudhaiva kudumbagam which means the whole world is a single family buddha has a greatest force for peace in the world his policy of peace self sacrifice kindness and charity molded the lives of millions of people ahimsa has a very prominent place in his religion jainism has long been respected as the world's most peace loving religion because of its strict doctrine of non violence that means ahimsa The language related to Judaism is Hebrew. Shalom is the word for peace in that language which is derived from one of the names of God. Humata, Husta, Huasta that means good thoughts, good words and good deeds is the three fold path of Asha is considered the core core maxim of Zoroastrianism. children now you have understood that all the major religions in this world consider peace as an important factor in the spiritual and physical well-being of humanity and make our future be peaceful by becoming good religious followers thank you have a nice day